Hey guys, welcome to Tantalizing Tales Buds by Rashmi. And are you all excited for Ganesh Chaturthi, which is tomorrow? I'm all excited for this festival, as this is one of my favorite festivals. So, what reminds you of Ganesh Chaturthi? Of course, Modak and Nevedya. This is an offering which we offer to Lord Ganesha. It doesn't have onions and garlic. Mainly, it is consists of puri, varan bhat, batatachi bhaji, bhaji, and khamanga kakdi. I want to talk about khamanga kakdi today. It's a delicious, lightly spiced, crunchy salad from Maharashtrian cuisine. Khamanga kakdi is so good that you can just have it as it is. It also pairs well as a side dish with any vegetarian Maharashtrian meal. This is a very easy recipe and gets done quickly and that too without single drop of oil or ghee. It has the right balance of sweet, spicy and tangy flavors and that crunch of peanuts is my favorite. It features a mix of cucumber, fresh coconut, roasted peanuts, lemon juice, green chilies, coriander and you can imagine the taste, flavor and texture this cucumber salad will have. For the cucumber, so let's get going guys. This is very easy recipe and so tasty. So the main ingredient of uh, kamanga kakri, cucumber, is cucumber and we are not going to chop it. We are going to grate the cucumber. So just grate the cucumber and keep it aside. Now the second step is to make chutney. So now for chutney you can see we have coconut here, we have green chilies, then we are going to use lemon juice, salt, coriander and we are going to uh, remove this from mixie. Either you can have a smooth paste or the coarse paste. So this is what the chutney looks like. Then we are going to roast the peanuts and we are going to crush them. Do not uh, crush it to a fine powder. Just have it coarse. So when you eat it, it really tastes, the crunch gives you a good taste. So now let's look at the grated cucumber. It's going to leave some water behind, right? So we don't want uh, that water in our kamanga kakri. So we are going to uh, squeeze all the water out of the grated uh, cucumber. Just press it between your palms and try to remove all the water and then transfer this cucumber, grated cucumber to our a mixture of chutney and peanuts. And now what are you going to do about this water? Do not throw this water. This is very useful water. So basically this is nothing but a pure cucumber juice. One can apply it uh, on the face. I remember my mom used to give us to apply it on the face and it really used to give nice cooling effect. Or else one can consume it. Just add a little pinch of kala namak, mix it and then you can consume it. Okay, then here we are ready with our khamang akri. Let's assemble everything together. Mix it really well in a bowl. So while assembling everything together, make sure whatever ingredient looks little less, you can add on. Like here, I took little uh, more chutney and mixing it well. Make sure about adding salt. Do not double it as we are already added that in chutney. And of course, this is to offer to the gods. So you cannot taste it beforehand. But I'm sure with the right proportions, uh, you will make it really good and delicious kamangakri. So it is wholesome and light on stomach kamangakri, which makes it great to have on its own for a light meal. It can be served as a side dish. You can also include this during your Ganesh Utsav, Navratri or any fasting and vrat meals. This is with no oil, so added advantage and it will fill your stomach. Do let us know how do you like my version of kamangakri. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and make.